Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a new data frame using Pandas. So first things first, make sure you have Pandas installed on your local computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this cell, shift enter runs it and create a new cell below. I actually want to import this as PD. And I'm working from Anaconda environment. So this pandas is, in, is installed in Anaconda. So to create a new data frame, let's just call our data frame DF is equal to do PD, which is which means pandas dot data frame. And pandas data frame is created like a dictionary. So, you first you put in parentheses, then you put in um, semicolon, which is the symbol for dictionary. And then you put in, and since it's like a dictionary, you put in the value and the keys. And I'll show you how to do that. So, we want it to be called, let's say, column one. Semicolon, and then you put in the list of numbers. So, let's call this one, two, three, four. That doesn't look right. Two, three, four. All right, and you put comma, and then you create um this right here is one column, and this could also be strings, and this could be a single digit if you wanted it to be. But I kind of I want to show you this. So let's call this column two. And let's create five, six, seven, eight. And let's call this one string. And we'll put um, one string here. As you can see, everything is, is four digits long. That's because we want our data frame to have the same size. Let's call this three and let's call this four. And let's call this Boolean or just Boo. Let's call this false and true. Okay, so we've created a data frame with four columns. Now let's view it and make sure this is done correctly. Let's run this cell and then to view our new newly created data frame, let's call it let's do df.head. As you can see right here. This is the data frame that we just created. Column one is this one, column two, column three, and column four. Okay, and to find out what type of data this is, we can just do df.shape. Df.shape will tell us the shape of the data frame. As you can see, this is a four by four column. Four rows and four columns. Let me make this five so it's a little bit easier to differentiate the rows and the columns oh what happens if you don't have the same number of columns everywhere let's find that ah uh, that doesn't look right <laughs> wow i can't believe i did that <laughs> all right so this is what I was trying to tell you. What happens if you don't have the same length on everywhere? Like, it, as you can see, this has five rows, five rows, five rows, but this has only four rows. You get an error message saying that they all have to be the same length. So in this case, let's call this true. 
again yeah and now let's run this and if we run this again as you can see now we have five rows and four columns as you can see five rows five five rows four columns now to find out what type of data this is we can simply do df df dot d types d types basically tells you the type of data that you have and you can see it shows you right here that the first column is an integer second column is an integer third column is a string a string is called an object and then the first and the third one is a bool which means true or false false values so yeah and of course you can continue to explore the data and do different things now this is kind of basic data frame creation you can make this as long as you want as long as they are all the same length you can create as many columns as you want it's all up to you and i hope you really like this video video and i hope it provided you with value if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll talk to you again next time bye